chocolate covered almonds with sea salt tastes amazing, but if you depend on this as a source of your diet, your body's gonna do weird stuff. Just letting you know. Okay, I wanna talk about the power of forgiveness. But before I get into this, I want to preface something real quick. So, the premise of this whole entire uh, importance of forgiveness, I believe, focuses on this element. As humans, I would say we remain with intent. So things that happen to us are going to have an effect. And we, as humans, were made to not experience certain things. And that is why there's a chain of events that happens when we experience things that we were not intended to experience. Um, we also, there are thoughts that we were not intended to think and dwell on. And there are actions we were not intended to participate or act out in. Um, and so each one of these things creates a, so to speak, um, a, a domino effect um, because they are not in the bounds of what, our, what we're supposed to be as humans. So with that being said, the power of forgiveness is creating a force field right here. Someone makes an action done towards you that is contrary to what you yourself is supposed to experience as a human. When we do not participate in the act of forgiveness, someone's actions done to us inspire thoughts that we're not supposed to dwell on. And those thoughts do a couple things. One, it deteriorates who we are and emphasizing either like bitternesses or self-afflictions or guilt or also inspiring us to act out to someone else over here, which when we do that, we start to inspire the chain to someone else. And so as we are experiencing all of these events happening to us and we don't participate or we don't actively do something to defend ourselves from those those actions, we end up having ourselves deteriorate and act out to different people and each person <laughs> acts out to their different influences because they're not participating also in forgiveness or whatnot. Um, and so what we're pretty much doing, and because I have orange, uh, we are we are saying no to, that's a terrible orange. Um, we are not letting the influences of other people's imperfections, because they all they themselves have an influence that is driving them to act out in imperfect ways, in ways that are harmful, that are contrary to their intended state as human beings. Um, so this defense allows us to, well, force allows us to have an opportunity to dwell on thoughts, thoughts that are mending rather than deteriorating because you're forcing yourself to consider these people as not as enemies and as in a way putting them in a good place in your mind so that it does not influence you to act out in these hurts, act out in these angers so that you yourself are filtering out how you act out and participate with the world around you and not creating this domino effect of suffering around the people or the people around you. So that is why I think forgiveness is crucial um, because we are imperfect and we participate in, in uh, well, actions, thoughts, and receive actions that we were not intended to. And it is a natural consequence of our state as human. So that's my thought at least. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, and, uh, yeah, what was, well, I would say, what was the hardest thing that you had to try to find forgiveness for, for somebody? Um, but that can be sensitive information, but if you feel open to sharing it, how has been your journey in that way in the comment section below, if you feel comfortable sharing and I will see you guys in another video, another life you never know. And also thank you for 5,000 subs. I am so close and I don't know uh, when that's going to happen, but it's here real soon. Um, so just thank you guys for your support and I really appreciate it. So I bow to you now and uh, end up and I'm gonna press this button right 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 here where